this is your reading for Friday the 12th of June. It feels like a good day to be alive to me. Let's have a look at what's coming up. Okay, so we've got the theme of childhood and fairies, okay? So it's a sense of wonder and it's a real coming back to a sense of innocence and often when we come back to that real innocent inner child within us that we get some really great ideas because we can often get really jaded and too practical because the real world often gives that message but the real wonderful beautiful things in the world are things that come from a pure um, inner kind of innocent place first card is the two of pentacles Two of Pentacles means that um, things are sometimes up, things are sometimes down. But you can handle them infinitely. And I, I, this is going to sound stupid, but I want to say it today. Don't be afraid to be a nut. Okay? Don't be afraid to be your crazy true self. Because that's where that balance comes out of. And the increased financial activity that's constantly up and down, up and down, up and down. The source of it is your uniqueness. It's your vision. It's your nuts kind of ideas, your fantasies. The next card is the Ace of Pentacles, and that's the same thing, really. The Ace cards are always blessings from the universe. And the blessing here is that, I mean, a fairy is a... Is a, is a, is a is an ideal, isn't it? I mean, when I walk around in nature, especially here, I can feel the fairy energy. It's something external to myself that I feel, but the actual figure of a fairy is something that's very stylized and it's created, and it represents the realm of fantasy, or the, the realm of the unseen. And something, a blessing, a financial, real-life blessing, comes through via the realm of fantasy, and you've got to get in touch with fantasy, with your own nuts kind of ideas, nature, to realize that gift. And then finally, the Six of Pentacles. You can see him, he's in charge, and they're the beggars. But what if the tables were turned? What if the beggars became the people in charge? And we can only flip things by being true to ourselves. Albert Einstein was never going to do well as an insurance salesman. It's really good that he actually wrote down his theory of relativity because that was a success. He didn't do very well selling credit cards. And if you're selling credit cards and you're an Albert Einstein, please flip things so that you can turn your financial life around. That's the message for the day. Think outside the box. If other people don't approve of you being a... Um, this has really been a theme the whole week. It's really interesting how that works. Um, it's also interesting when I do readings, I often get repetition like that. So this week the repetition is um, be yourself. Don't care so much about what other people are thinking. If you want success in your life, be true to yourself. So that's the theme. It's been around all week. And when I do readings, I often get four readings back to back about finances. Sometimes I get four readings back to back about um the spirituality. Sometimes I do readings for people in the same place. Like it was interesting, but I mean, I'm in the UK and one day I did three readings for people in Kentucky. And I thought, what are the odds of that? <laughs> that they all get in touch with me on the same day. So anyway. Okay. Um, God, I got really sidetracked. Six, seven, nine. Nine is about completion and spirituality. Bring completion to your financial life by tapping into your spiritual imagination, fantasy life. Bring that idea through and make things better. It's a great opportunity this day. I'm going to certainly seize it, see what, what I can come up with. Sometimes things happen for me that I don't even plan and they just come into my head and I just... I make myself a tube for the universe and I just say, let it flow through me. Some things are successful, others aren't. but it's, it's almost like I'm not even doing anything. I'm just letting things flow through me. So please get in touch with that energy. Have a wonderful Friday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.